from Petco Park in downtown San Diego. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go, and on the hill, number 60. Yeah, he was a tough luck loser last time out, dominating his opponent. Soft contact, they were able to score a couple of runs, but outside of that, everything was sharp. You hope that he gets a better result this time out. Reward the guy for his hard work. Chapman pulls it in on the run. Philly strand one, and now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Ethan Wilson. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Jaquez makes the grab on the run. That is seven. The third baseman, Edmundo. And digging in for Philadelphia, Edmundo Sosa. In the air out to center. Pulls it in for the out. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Bottom of the second. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Jaquez. Abel, back to work. And the first Inside pitch misses ball for ball one. And that one a little bit high. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. And it finds its way through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Jackson Frazier. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Throw first, and he's back in safely. Kicks and deals. Runner on the goal. Got him swinging. Throw to second. Great jump. And here is Matt Chapman coming off a good one. Four for four yesterday. The one two. Rudder breaks for third. Cold strike three. Throw. Save. And now it's Yvonne Herrera. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. To the right side. Over to first. That's the third out. One left for San Diego, but they still lead it 1-0. Emmanuel Paquez, the next up for the Padres. Single to right at his first trip. That one the other way. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. One run across. Another comes in to score, and it's 4-0. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws.
Man in scoring position with two away. So digging in now for San Diego, Jackson Frazier. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Out to short. Turner with the throw to first. And that is the inning. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to inning number four. It's the Padres four and the Phillies. Tyro Estrada to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. Estrada. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide. Two outs, runner at first. Next for the Padres, Emmanuel Paquez. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Ball one, no strikes. Pajes, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch inside, and that's ball two. Two will count, great hitter at the dish. If you're gonna miss, you've gotta miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Swings and misses. Now two and one. Pickoff move to first, Pajes back easily. Runner on the go. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, trying to get into scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here in San Diego. Well, we go bottom six. Stepping in for San Diego, Emmanuel Paquez. Okay. And he deals. McGowan, a 6 3 righty. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two seamer. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one and one. Yeah, that's too high. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. In the dirt. Stubbs fires to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you commit. So up next, Edmundo Sosa. Edmundo Sosa. One down, base is empty. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now, Corey Howell, one for two. And that one in the air center field. Jaquez pulls it down, two down. Now batting. The catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Ready to begin the eighth. And now the first baseman, Victor Caratini. Victor Caratini. And he'll one. Out to center, Jaquez. Has this one sized up? 
Hauls it in, and there's one away. The center field, number 16. So two away with nobody on. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. Foul ball there. The 0 1. And that one missing low. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a good eye there. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. I'd say these guys really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing, as well as to your left and your right, your teammates, that they're on track as well. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so 